my first guest is an NBA legend and a co-owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Here is the one and only Magic Johnson. <laughs> yeah, that's talking about. Hey, bud. Magic Johnson. Ah, uh, it's great to see you, bud. Welcome. And you too, Jimmy. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, pal. I I, I want to ask you because I, I you have one of the greatest nicknames in the history of sports. Uh, but you also had a nickname before it was Magic Johnson. You were you were Junebug Johnson. <laughs> what, 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 why is that? Why were you Junebug Johnson? Well, you know, my parents are from the South. And when you're from the South, everybody, especially if you're African American, you get every, every male is like one Junebug in every family. So I was the Junebug of our family. You know, I have six sisters and three brothers. So they happened to give it to me. How did it? And then a sports writer called you Magic? Yes. When, um, I went to high school, my ninth game of the season, my first year of high school, I was 15 years old, and uh, we went to play at school and we blew them out. Uh, they were a powerhouse in the state of Michigan. I had 38 points, uh, 16 rebounds, and 15 assists. That was my first triple-double. And uh, the guy came in and said, somebody's already called Dr. J, somebody's already called Big E, I wanna call you Magic. And you know, hey, Jimmy, I, I said, no way this is going to stick. And, you know, all the brothers in the neighborhood, you know, they were like, man, we're not going to call you no magic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Junebug, man. What's coming on? Yeah, like, exactly. It's not going to stick. And now here no. you are. There's no one else. And, you can't and, call and, anyone else magic. That's right. I'm wrong, and, and the sports writer was right. I've been magic ever since. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Summer Olympics are coming up, and we're coming up in the... 30th anniversary of what is known as the greatest basketball team in history, the 1992 Dream Team. <laughs> now, uh, at this point, you and Larry Bird were rivals for, for almost two decades, and now you're teammates. What, what was that like? Well, Jimmy was on my bucket list to play with Larry Bird one day, play with Michael Jordan one day, and here it is. I get a chance on the Dream Team to do just that. And it was great to play with Larry. We had been rivals. We hated each other. We played, you know, against each other in the uh, NCAA championship game. And so I had to take the bird man down in that game. And then... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> You're going to get in trouble again, man. <laughs> you took the and then, bird man down. And then we played three times in the NBA, and my Lakers won two, and he won one. But I would say this. There's nobody that I ever played against that I love and respected more than Larry Bird. The man, uh, listen, you couldn't give him an inch or he would just shoot it right in your face. He was dominant at both ends of the court. And so uh, Larry Bird made me a better player, and I think I made him a better player. And together, we made the NBA better. That's right, you did. That's right. Absolutely. Good man. Uh, if you took the 1992 Dream Team and put them up against a team of today's best NBA players, LeBron, Durant, James Harden, Steph Curry. Hey, hey, hey let me cut you off. It don't matter who you put. We gonna beat them. Oh, what? <laughs> really? Oh. And by how much? By how much? Uh, you know, really, it really don't matter as long as you win, right? And, and so, uh, Why? that dream team, listen, man, that team, we had everything. Everything that you want in a basketball team, we had, right? We, we could shoot from the outside. We could dominate you inside. We played great defense. I mean, when you got Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan on those wings like that, and then David Robinson and Patrick Ewing, who was dominant at that time. I mean, yeah. Charles Barkley, who was unbelievable. Yeah. You know, we had the best players in the world, Carl Malone, John Stockton. Uh, Chris Mullen, a New Yorker. Chris Mullen, a uh, Chris Mullen. Clyde Drexler. It's an amazing team. Speaking of Patrick Ewing, can you believe what's going on with the Knicks? Oh. Woo! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> let, let, let me just say this. The Knicks, on a nine-game winning streak, they have the coach of the year and Coach Thibodeau. Julius Randle has been a dominant player. He should make the all-NBA team. Yep. The league is better when the New York Knicks are better, and I'm so excited for Knicks fans. I'm excited for the NBA, and I tell you what, this is the one problem, Jimmy, everybody's going to have 
Nobody in the NBA in the East going to want to play the Knicks in the playoffs. I'll tell you that right now. That's right. Really? I love hearing that. Yeah, yeah because they play defense better than anybody in the league. Yep. And they're tough. And they're mentally and physically tough. I like the way Coach Thibodeau had the guys playing. So, so who do you pick the team to go all the way? Well, I think you guys still put Brooklyn as the favorite as well as the Lakers on the West. And I would love to see that matchup in the NBA Finals. <laughs> Come on, And uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about this because you're, you're one of the owners of the, the Dodgers, the L.A. Dodgers, right. and they just won the championship. Uh, you've been a winner so many times. What does it feel like to be a winner as an owner in baseball? Uh, it's different, right? Because as a player, you can control what happens on the court. Yeah. But as an owner... It drives you absolutely crazy because you can't control anything that <laughs> happens on the field. We've been to the World Series three times, and we finally won this past season. I'm happy for all my the players and the L.A. fan base because the Lakers end up winning and the Dodgers won in the same year. So it's been a great year for Laker fans and Dodger fans and L.A. as a community. That's right. Good man. I, I, it's all you. You're the secret. You're the secret, buddy. Uh, yeah, thank you, my man.